Hi, it's Rick with Phoneware. I'm going to demonstrate for you the um, two auto attendant options that we have, the easy attendant and the premium attendant. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, visit the Phoneware website here, azphoneware.com, go to login. We're going to go to the admin portal right here. And I'm just going to log in with my credentials. I'm going to actually show you our office system because we have both uh, the uh, easy attendant and premium attendant uh, services set up. So this is the admin portal. Uh, gives us access to, you know, basically all the functionality in a business group. And uh, if we go down here to attendance under all lines attendance, this shows us the different uh, auto attendants that we have set up. And as I mentioned, we have one easy attendant and then we actually have a few different uh, premium attendants that we use. So I'm going to demonstrate the easy attendant for you first. So if I go to actions and then view attendant settings, this opens up a little window here with the uh, portal for the easy attendant. And then if I click on this button right here, open attendant settings, this takes me into the configuration of the easy attendant. So right now it basically just gives me an overview that we've got uh, a two menu mode, business hours and non-business hours, and we've got a schedule. And I can navigate to any of these options either by clicking on these icons here or across the top. So first of all, we'll look at the schedule. And basically you can see that my schedule is set up that our business hours are Monday through Friday from eight to five. And if we wanted to be open eight to six, we basically just click right here, drag across, drag across, apply that change, and boom, now we are open 8 to 6. So changing the schedule is very easy. Uh, special days are used for holidays. So right here where it says special days, if I click on this icon, this takes me into a holiday schedule. And you'll see right now that uh, November 22nd is shaded because that's a holiday, will be closed. Uh, December 25th is a holiday, will be closed, etc. Uh, and it's the system is smart enough to know what the federal holidays are. So if I click add public holidays, I could say US public holidays 2018. Soon we'll have the option in there for 2019 because we'll have to be updating the holidays for next year. But if I click that, that will add in all of the uh, federal holidays for the United States. But that's actually too many because there's a few holidays that are mostly like uh, uh, bank and government holidays. So, you know, we don't observe uh, MLK Day or President's Day. So I'm going to uncheck those. And then also we do not observe um, Columbus Day or Veterans Day. But those are holidays, so they were selected. Oh, and we're also open the day after Thanksgiving. So I'm going to check that. Then, of course, there's Christmas. And then I want to make sure that we've got January 1st, 2019 as, as well. So those are the holidays. So that's all set. So I'll go ahead and apply that. So that's the schedule. Then in the actual menu, again, we've got a business hours menu and a non-business hours menu. So business hours are, is what's active on the schedule here from 8 to 5. And uh, basically, uh, I've got the, the greeting. I can click right here and listen to that greeting. And it will Thank play you. it for me. Um, I can also... Uh, download that file or upload a WAV file into the system or click here on the microphone and record it right on my computer. Now we use a voice artist and she sends us uh, WAV files with professionally uh, recorded prompts. That's what you heard right there. That's our Thank voice you artist. Thank calling Telephone Warehouse. Okay. So um, when she sends us those files, we use the upload option right here to upload the files that she sends us. But that's the main greeting. And then we also have an, an announcement. This is like our address and fax number, stuff like that. So this is an announcement. So again, if I click here and I our click... Our address uh, is 20827 North Cave Creek Road. Cancel. There we go. So if I go to this and I go to um, upload, I was already in the upload function from when I uh, clicked on it before. So I kind of confused the system a little bit. But anyway, um, if I did the upload function there, I can also upload that message as well. So that's pretty easy. And then the options that are available on an easy attendant are transfer to phone, and that will transfer to any phone number. It can either be an extension on our system or it could be uh, an external phone number. Transfer to voicemail will take that uh, call directly to a voicemail box on our system. Um, you don't really need dial by extension. That's always live. Well, we set it to always be live. 
and then dial by name is of course a, uh, a directory. So we've got these basic functions that are available on an easy attendant. There are more available on a, um, on a premium attendant. Uh, last, the other thing that we can do is, uh, and of course we've got a non-business hours menu, same settings. Uh, we can have where all these single digit options go, uh, a greeting for the uh, non-business hours mode, and then of course the announcement for that mode. It happens to be the same announcement, but I, it could be different right here. So business hours and non-business hours are basically the same process that we go through. They're just controlled by the schedule here. And then uh, under extensions, it's got all the built-in extensions that are on my business group, but I can also add additional extensions. So let's say I wanted to add a virtual extension uh, number uh, 333, and I wanted that to go to a person named Jenny at phone number uh, 602-867-5309. Was that right? 867-5309. Yeah. And then I could even record a, uh, a spoken name for her or upload a spoken name. But this, of course, would be Jenny's mobile number. So basically what that does is it creates a virtual extension number that people could call in, hit the auto attendant, dial extension 333 to get Jenny. And it actually routes the call off of our system to Jenny's mobile number. So uh, that's kind of a nice uh, additional extension function that we have on the auto attendant. And then earlier, I also mentioned that uh, we always set it up to, um, oh, I have this one wrong. <laughs> Dial by extension at any time. That's the way that it should be, rather than using the, you know, press one to enter an extension option. So I had that wrong. Uh, we actually don't use our easy attendant. We use our premium attendant. Anyway, that's it on the easy attendant. Now, let me jump to the premium attendant real quick here. So I'll go to the phoneware premium attendant. Again, I'm going to go out here to the right, actions, view attendant settings. Again, brings up this little window, open attendant settings. And similar, but it's got a little bit more to it here, as you can see. I've got my schedule, but now I can have all these different schedule periods. So like, let's say tomorrow, we're going to have a staff meeting from uh, 8 to noon. I can click here and see how it's a paintbrush, a blue paintbrush. I can just say, Okay, we're going to have a staff meeting from 8 to 10. And I've painted that in. And then that staff meeting period actually has a menu uh, associated with it. So by just painting in that time, that would automatically activate a different uh, menu. And you'll see here that during the staff meeting period, it says use the menu called staff meeting. Uh, also, if I go to the uh, period called holiday party, use the menu called holiday party, which is a menu that we have that says our office is now closed for our annual company hol holiday party. We all go to lunch and then close for the afternoon. Um, so again, working hours, uh, holiday, if I wanted to paint in a holiday, let's say we were closing uh, Friday at noon for a holiday. I could paint that in and that would automatically make the uh, holiday mode active on Friday. So just a lot more granularity on the premium attendant here. It still has the uh, special days configuration like the easy attendant. So I can go in here and I can add, you know, my holidays in the same manner that I did on the easy attendant. And here it says that that's going to use the holiday menu. Notice here that the special days uses the holiday menu. And if I click here, the holiday that I've painted in, which I can paint in for specific hours on a day, that also uses the holiday menu. So, and you basically unlimited to all the different uh, periods that you can configure here and associate those to menus. So we jump over here to menus and here's all the different menus that we have created. We have our business hours, non-business hours, holiday, holiday party, staff meeting. Uh, and then we have a sub menu for the service department, which uh, you'll see here when I go to the uh, night mode. But anyway, if we're looking at business hours right now, there's the general information. The announcement that we're playing is this one here, business hours recorded by Nailene. That is our voice artist. And then keys um, takes us to, again, all the different options and where those go to. Most of them go to transfer to phone. Uh, there is an announcement one right there. Uh, we also, on a premium attendant, have the ability to configure what happens on a timeout, which means the caller did not push any buttons. So what do we want to happen there? We can actually determine that on a, um, on a premium attendant. And then also references, because the premium attendant can get so complicated, this will show you how the different uh, menus kind of point to each other. 
and are uh, connected. So this kind of just shows the, the connections that this particular menu has. Now here I mentioned that our non-business hours, if I look at that one and I go to keys, you'll see that there's an option here to go to a menu. And the menu that we're going to is the service night menu. So basically we have an option that plays after hours, says thank you for calling, uh, you know, if you, um, to reach the service department, press one. So then if I press one, if the caller presses one, they basically get the option to either leave a non-urgent message for the service department or an urgent message, which will notify our technician on call. So that's basically a sub menu uh, option that we have right there. So um, on the announcements, again, we have all these different announcements that are recorded by our voice artist and these announcements are connected to menus or either used uh, as the main recording for a menu or as the option for like play announcement and then return, etc. Uh, extensions, basically just like uh, I showed you on the easy attendant. And again, we've got the option here. Callers are allowed to dial an extension at any time. So that was already set on this one. This is the uh, uh, premium attendant is the one that we use. And then I can also configure additional extensions just like I could on the easy uh, attendant menu that I showed you. And then we also have some options on the premium attendant here under advanced, uh, like to kind of create standard options. When I create additional menus, if I want all the menus to always start with, uh, you know, option zero transferring to a particular phone, you can build that into kind of like a template, I guess, of sorts. Um, error handling, um, you know, just how the system handles uh, improper um, entries and uh, just some basic uh, basic default settings here on the premium attendant. So I know I went really fast and that was probably really complicated. I apologize about that, but just wanted to show you that uh, through the admin portal here uh, with our two attendant offerings, easy attendant and premium attendant, um, it actually is pretty easy to configure them. And the best news is, is that you don't have to you will have full access to these to this portal to do whatever you want but anything that you want changed just notify us and we'll take care of it for you and there's no charge so we do this stuff day in and day out we know how to uh, maneuver through these systems uh, very quickly and most of our customers uh, just have us make these changes for them but if you do want to do it it's not bad i think it's pretty uh, pretty intuitive and uh, pretty easy to, to navigate through. So that's it. Sorry about the length of this message and thanks for watching.